Hi everyone, this is Sharon, and today I'm going to show you how to create interactive fillable PDF forms in Adobe Acrobat. We'll cover how to create a new PDF form in Adobe Acrobat from scratch or from a Word document. Then we'll add PDF fillable form fields like text boxes, drop down lists, and check boxes. Then we're going to cover some more advanced fillable form making techniques in Adobe Acrobat Pro, like setting up calculating form fields and using action buttons to reset your form. You can use these same methods on both Mac and PC. Let's take a look. First, let's open Adobe Acrobat. I have a license to use Adobe Acrobat Pro through my Creative Cloud account, so I have the Acrobat desktop app downloaded to my computer. Click on Tools, and if you want to create your form from scratch, click here on Prepare Form, select Create New, and click Start. The Prepare Form toolbar will appear, and you can hover over each icon to see a description. You can start adding your form fields to create your form here from scratch. Now you may be more familiar with Word or Google Docs, so you can create your form template there and then bring it into Acrobat to make it into a PDF form. Acrobat can intuitively place form fields into the document automatically when you upload, saving you a lot of time. Let's pull up our Word form. And in our example today, we're using a job offer approval form. Let's save our Word form as a PDF. Go up to File, Click Save as Adobe PDF. Choose a file name and location, and then click Save. Our form gets saved as a PDF that we can then upload in Acrobat. Notice that it opened up a new tab with our PDF out here. Let's go ahead and close these two tabs, and go back to Tools, and click Prepare Form. This time we're going to leave single file selected and click on select a file. Navigate where you saved your PDF form, select it and click open. In a few minutes, your document will load here and notice that the form field auto detection is on. Let's click start. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the form fields. Now we can see that the form field auto detection did a pretty good job of placing our form fields for us, but it placed the form fields as text box type fields. So now we want to make a few edits to include checkboxes and drop down lists. Notice that each form field is also named automatically. Let's add checkboxes to the FLSA status area. Click on the checkboxes icon in the prepare form toolbar. A highlighted box appears on your mouse cursor, and you can move your mouse where you want to place the checkbox and click to place it. The checkbox properties window will open, and you can name your checkbox. We'll name this exempt check. Click on all properties, and notice that you can also add a tooltip, as well as set the common properties to required, and also check the appearance and make any updates to the style of the border color, fill, line thickness, or style that you like. These options are available on all the form fields. When you're done making your edits, click Close. One important thing to note about PDF fillable form fields is the field I added now displays at the end of this list on the right side panel. We want to move this field up under Job Grade so that a user who's tabbing through the form fields will be able to tab through the fields in the correct order. We arrange that order over here. Simply click, hold, and drag the field up and release where you want to place it in the right order. Now let's place another checkbox over here for the non-exempt item. We'll click on the checkbox icon, move our cursor down, and place our checkbox. We'll name this non-exempt check. Click on all properties, make any adjustments that we want, and click close. Now let's select our form field over here and use our arrow buttons to place it exactly where we want it to display in the form. Now let's align our form fields. I can click my mouse, drag, and select both fields. Then go over to the right hand panel at the top where we can align, center, match size, or distribute. We're going to click on align horizontally. Notice that the checkboxes are now evenly placed. Let's delete this extra FLSA status checkbox that was automatically placed into the PDF. All we have to do is click it and hit delete. 
Now let's say we want to create a drop-down list for the department. Let's delete the current text field by selecting and hitting delete, and then go up to the prepare form toolbar and select the drop-down list icon. Click on it, and then bring your mouse down where we want to place the field, and click. We'll name this department drop-down, and then click on all properties. On the tooltip, let's type select department. Now let's click on the appearance tab and make any desired updates to your field. Then click on the options tab, and this is where we'll enter the drop-down list items. I'm gonna type the department names in the item field and click add for each one. In the item list area, you can delete a list item or move it up or down. You also have some enhanced features to consider, like allowing spell check, allowing users to enter custom text, or even selecting a default item. When you're done, click Close. Let's drag our field out to extend it, and then let's align it and make it the same size as our other fields. I'm going to click and drag my mouse to select the field below it, and then I'm gonna come over and click on Match Size. This will match the width and height. Now our box will look even and be visually pleasing to our users. Remember to drag the fields that we created up on the list and place them in the correct order. Now let's update the properties on our date form field at the top. Double click to open the date form field properties window and click on the format tab Drop down the Select Format category and select Date. Select your desired date format and then click Close. Now let's scroll down. We have a field down here called Other and we want to make this a multi-line in case users have more data to type into this field. Let's double click to open the Properties window. Click on the Options tab and select the Multi-Line checkbox then click Close. Now we can even create calculating form fields. Let's say we want users to enter the annual salary and then have the hourly rate field auto-calculate. First, we need to update the properties on both so that we can rename them so there are no spaces in the name, and then we will select number type for both. So let's double click and open Base Annual Salary, go to the General tab, and we'll rename this annual salary with no spaces. Then we're gonna to go to the format tab, select number. We can use two decimal places and then select the dollar sign as our currency symbol. Then click close. Now for the hourly rate, let's go ahead and select the number and the currency symbol will default automatically. Now let's go ahead on to Calculate, since this is the field we want to set for calculation. We're gonna click Simplified Field Notation and click Edit. We're gonna type the syntax of our formula here. It's gonna be open parentheses, annual salary, which is the name of our other field that we wanna calculate, divided by 2080. So it's the annual salary divided by 2080 to derive the hourly rate. And close parentheses and click OK. Now we're going to click Close. Now let's add a clear form or reset button at the bottom of our form so we can reuse the form quickly. I'm going to scroll down. And then I'm going to come up here to the Prepare Form toolbar and click the button icon. We're gonna move our mouse and click where we wanna place the button. We'll name this Reset Form. Click on All Properties. We can put a tooltip here. Check our appearance, positioning, 
options. And here's where we want to put our label, reset form. And now we're going to click on actions. The trigger will be mouse up. And the select action, scroll down and select reset a form. Click add. And here on the select fields to reset, we can select only certain fields to clear and reset or leave all selected. And then click OK. When you're done, click close. Now let's preview our form and test it out. Come up here to preview and click. Let's scroll up. And if we put a date in here and hit tab, It'll give us a warning that this is an invalid format type and it'll warn users to put the correct formatting. We'll click OK and re-enter our date. Then we can logically tab through each of our form fields in the correct order. We can select our dropdown. And let's test our calculation here. We'll put in a base salary. Hit tab and hit tab again, and it will display in the correct format. Now we can scroll down. We can choose the multi-line and see that the scroll bars appear. And we can click on reset form and it clears the form out. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click on edit. And now we can go ahead and save our form. Go to file, Save as, select a location, name your file, and click Save. Now your form is ready to send out. Be sure to thoroughly test your form before posting or sending it out to ensure that it works as desired. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and share it. To see more helpful videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. You can visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and don't forget to check out my YouTube community post page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.